When you're in need of an ambulance, you expect to see one fairly quickly. But unfortunately for residents in Yellowstone County, sometimes there's a bit of a wait and occasionally even no ambulance at all. We have accidents that occur and sometimes it's 45 minutes, an hour, two hours. In a lot of cases, we wind up having to call other counties to bring their ambulance into our county. For Casey Williams, the response to medical emergencies or sometimes lack thereof has reached a pivotal point in the county. People in need of care stuck waiting and oftentimes taking themselves to the hospital. We get calls back to 911 where some of the emergency response agencies call back and say, well, how bad is it? before they decide to go. Williams says the issue is a shortage of ambulances that service the area, just 10 to cover the entire county on a given day, which means they're often asking for outside help. No less than 20 times this year, we've had to find ambulance services from outside the county because either we didn't have enough ambulances to answer all the 911 calls at the moment, or where the call was didn't have ambulance service and nobody would go. Many rural emergency services are staffed by volunteers, so even if there's an ambulance available, a driver may not be. Williams knows firsthand what it's like to wonder if help will arrive on time. I was told I was having a heart attack, and I was told it will be faster for your wife to carry you to the hospital than it will be for us to find an ambulance to come get you. Like most issues, the problem comes down to one thing, money. Williams says each ambulance costs over a million dollars to purchase and operate. We can't solve the problem unfortunately without money and it's a matter of who's going to be able to pay for the very expensive service of ambulance care. Williams says unfortunately it's probably not just one group. My personal opinion it's going to be a, a citizen agency government cooperation to solve it. In Billings, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.